This is easily my favorite thing about van life, being able to stand here, cook my breakfast, drink my coffee, and enjoy the views like this. <sighs> Good morning. Sometimes with these uh, Max Air fans, it's like waking up with a uh, spotlight shining down into your eyes and the sun hits it perfectly. So it's only really an issue when I sleep in late like I did today. So I think it's time to get up. And I think I'm in one of the coolest spots that I've found so far on this trip. Just outside of Phoenix, Arizona with beautiful views all around me. Pretty cool. So the spot that I am currently in is just outside of Saguaro Lake in Arizona. And the reason that I'm here and why there was no video on Thursday is because I tried to film a catch and cook yesterday and it went absolutely horribly. It was freezing cold, it was windy. I went to the tackle shop and asked the guys if I would have any luck trying to catch fish today and they said absolutely not, especially from the shore this time of year, the fish like to be in deep water. So I went out there for a couple hours despite the advice that I got. Caught nothing, was freezing cold and just decided to give up on filming a video. So. I didn't film a video this Thursday, but there's always something positive that you can pull out of a negative. And the positive that I pulled out of that is that I found this beautiful spot that opens up over this mountain vista in the distance. There is even some snow-capped mountains back there. And it is just stunning to wake up to this. Very nice. Also, I'm gonna put some socks on because it's kind of cold out. The only two clean socks I have left are different colors, so. It's not like I'm gonna see anybody else today, so it doesn't really matter. But also, where I parked is actually kind of a cool area because if I head outside, where I'm parked really isn't even a campsite. The uh, campsite that I was supposed to go to is actually down there. They weren't there last night, but I didn't want to go down there because pulling up on here on the side of the road, I'm not blocking any of the roadways to get down to all the off-roading trails. And I found a way to angle my van perfectly up on this little ridge right here so that I can open my door to this beautiful expansive landscape. But there is endless, and I can see them all over the ridges, all over the hills down there for miles and miles, off-roading tracks. And although I don't have an ATV or a dirt bike or something like that, I do have my e-bike and it's got some shocks on it. So I figure at some point today, I'm gonna take the e-bike out because I charged the battery all last night and go explore some of these trails that go back into the uh, wilderness back here. But it is super windy again out today. But it's nice because the wind is coming from that direction blowing this way. So I can feel it on my ankles down there, but I can't feel anything right here because my van's blocking it, which is really nice. So I was kind of bummed about yesterday and not being able to catch any fish because, and I'll put up some overlays right now of the footage that I took yesterday from the lake because that lake was the most beautiful lake that I think I've ever been to in my entire life. And I'm sure it would have been a blast to fish in the summer, but the fish just weren't biting this winter. But it's just so crazy that people out west have beautiful things like that 30 minutes from their city. Like that was 30, 45 minutes from Phoenix. So even though I didn't catch any fish, I'm still really glad I got to see it. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but today's video is gonna be the first one of the road trip. And I know that the title of this video says road trip, but it's the first one of this road trip where I'm not driving at all. And we're staying in the same spot for more than one day. Because there's a bunch of storms up north, I don't want to rush, and I want to stay here and enjoy these beautiful views for one more day. The clouds are so perfect today, they almost look fake. But for breakfast today is some of my crispy golden breakfast potatoes. So I'm gonna get those prepped up real quick. And typically I'll use a normal size like a russet potato, but I don't have one of those, so. And there we go. Bunch of beautiful diced up potatoes. Also got a bunch of those leftover onions and peppers from the fajitas. Chop those up and throw them in there too. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that I've gotta boil these potatoes. So I'm gonna do that real quick and kind of just put everything else on pause until we get this water boiling. All right, the water's boiling enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw those potatoes in. While we wait for those, I'm gonna get started on this pan. I also made myself some coffee while waiting for that water to boil. This is easily my favorite thing about van life, being able to stand here, cook my breakfast, drink my coffee, and enjoy the views like this. B-E-A-U-tiful. Might have to close the door, it's getting a little windy out. It's blowing away my, my flame. Or at least close it halfway.
All right, so the secret to good breakfast potatoes is to throw them in over the oil and then leave them there and don't touch them and that way you'll have like one golden crispy side and it makes them really good. All right, they've been cooking for a little while. Let's see how well they've browned up. Oh, beautiful. Now one side of all these potatoes has some nice color to it. Now we can add our seasonings. Paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and of course salt and pepper. And to really make the flavor pop, a little bit of ketchup. And there you have it. The world's most delicious breakfast potatoes. And I also remembered while I was cooking these that I actually have some leftover pancakes, Kodiak cakes, from the other day. So I'll use those too. And that's what I call breakfast with a view. I got this new seasoning called ketchup flavor sprinkle seasoning blend that my girlfriend got me in the Valentine's Day gift she sent me. So I'm excited to try that out because I love ketchup on my eggs. Wow. That smells exactly like ketchup. That's kind of crazy. That is actually really good. I wouldn't say it tastes like ketchup. It definitely adds like a really good, almost sweet flavor that actually goes really well with the eggs. Trader Joe's is always coming up with the best stuff. So I think after breakfast, I'm gonna whip out the e-bike because last night I charged the battery to full and we're gonna go check out some of these trails that kind of wind through this wilderness. But I'm not gonna do anything too crazy because I do not have a helmet. And getting injured out here would not be the most convenient place to do that. All right, breakfast is done. Let's go explore a little bit. All right, so I've got myself all dressed up nice and warm. Thermal socks on to keep my toes warm. And I think I'm gonna pack a bag and bring some water, some toilet paper, and my shovel in the back, because after a big breakfast like that and a coffee, I got a feeling nature's gonna call while I'm out there. And it's better to be prepared and not need it than not be prepared and need it. So that's why we're bringing that. There we go. I think we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Woo! I think, I think I wanna go that way, down there. I don't know if I wanna go down that. We'll turn around for now. We'll start off on the bunny trail. So we get a little more comfortable riding this thing. Maybe, maybe we'll uh, come back to this. Oh. Come on, you can make it, you can make it. There we go. All right, we will start this way first. Seems a little bit more moderate. And I think someone commented on my video one time to only use the back brake when on sandy things. So I'm gonna try to follow that rule today. Oh, like moguls. This would have been a cool campsite too. I don't know if I'd want to take the van down here though. Got a little fire pit. Still got some pretty good views of the Vista, but onward. Oh God. This bike's gonna fall apart. <laughs> oh, I need to get a dirt bike. This is so much fun. All right, I might get a little sketchy going down this way too. Let's just do it. Now we can actually put on war pigs and ride around. Sorcerer of death's construction In the fields the body's burning Whoa, whoa, whoa <laughs> I don't know if I want to go down too far Because I'm going to have to ride all the way back up all of this Essentially pedaling Because this thing doesn't go uphill very well But we'll see It is beautiful out here It's like a, it's like a natural desert botanical garden so many plants. All right. I don't really feel like riding down this path any further because then I'm just gonna have to ride back up it and it's gonna suck. I'm gonna go back up to the top, see if we can follow that other trail that kind of goes over to the right. This thing's actually handing them up the uphill pretty well. I'm impressed. All right, so we've made it back 
up to the top, the fork in the road. You can kind of see the van way off in the distance over there. I think I'm gonna head down here, see what we can find, and then maybe head back to the van. I think I had my headphones in. I disconnected and I realized I dropped my phone. I think those hills might have been a little bit too steep. I was clenching my butt cheeks so hard, I don't even have to go to the bathroom anymore. It looks like there's rain everywhere in the distance, but where we are. Also, in such a weird way, I'm so glad that I started this YouTube channel and you guys really like my videos because it really makes me feel like I have someone riding out here with me and having someone to kind of share the experience with, even if it's virtual. It's pretty nice. Man, this thing is just powering through these hills. I think that's enough riding around on these trails. I don't want to completely destroy this bike, but I mean, this is beautiful. Really cool landscape out here. Anyways, let's head back to the van. All right, well, that was fun. Um, I think now I'm just gonna make myself some tea. Warm up a little bit because it's cold. And this tea company really needs to sponsor me because I've given them so many shout outs and had so many people message me telling me that they absolutely love the tea. Tao lemon loaf tea. So good. Uh, what a beautiful day out. It's not as cold if I'm not riding around on that bike, so that's nice. I have had a bunch of people ask me kind of how I go to the bathroom when I'm in spots like this, and the simple answer is you just dig a hole. And it's really not that bad, honestly, to sit out here and take in these views while doing what you gotta do. I feel like everyone should try it once in their life. It's quite nice. Hello. Hello. How goes it? I don't know. I think talking about it made me have to go. Yeah. And my girlfriend actually got me these biodegradable toilet paper packs, so I'm gonna go use one of those. So I'll check back in with you guys in a few minutes. <sighs> All right. There we go. Feeling much better. It's actually starting to warm up here a little bit, and I'll use this opportunity, taking off my jacket, to plug my merch. So I'm wearing one of my merch hoodies right now. It's a topographic map of Ryan Mountain and Joshua Tree on the back there with the coordinates of the location. I've got hoodies, I've got t-shirts, long sleeve and short sleeves, and I got stickers. So if you wanna support the channel, go check out my website. The link is in the description and get yourself a hoodie or a t-shirt. I think they look pretty cool. fun took the bike out again rode around on some of those uh bumps and jumps because i thought it would be fun um but the sun is setting it looks absolutely spectacular today definitely one of the best so far on the trip the clouds make it look really cool all those like light rays coming down from it but all that riding around and running around setting up the camera made me pretty hungry so i think i'm gonna cook some dinner i'm just gonna make some korean bulgogi and rice but before i do that I'm gonna take care of just some of this mess real quick. There we go, that's good enough for me. Some of that stuff had some crud in there that needs to soak, so I'm letting that soak. I also swept up the floors because they were dusty and dirty for me walking in and out of here all day. But now the van is clean enough to make another mess for dinner. So the bulgogi that I got, I got from a Korean market pre-season because every time that I drive by, 
a Korean market, I always pick up some fresh bulgogi because I love it and it's so much easier than having to make it myself. And usually much better. I'm also going to make a cup of rice to go with it. I think that box is running low, so we're gonna need two. That smells so good. Look at that. That looks so good. So this is actually kind of a lot of bulgogi, but I think since it's just easier to heat it up, I'm gonna cook it all now, and then just, it'll be a lot easier to reheat for lunches and dinners later this week. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's shooting down right there in the valley right there all day long. It's so crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see the muzzle flash, and then three seconds later you hear the gunshot. Pretty cool. But our water's boiling. And our rice. We can go ahead and cover that. And the rice is done. Now we just gotta wait for this to cook up. Alright, I think that looks just about done. Got a little bit of crispiness on it, just how I like it. Let's get that plated up. Let's eat. I am so excited to eat this, that looks so good. And look at this dope view that we have for dinner. So a lot of the times on these road trips, I have an issue with kind of going too fast and I don't really take the time to uh, appreciate these spots that I stay in. So it's nice to have a full day here without having to drive anywhere, worry about finding a spot. I'm loading out there. And it just really allows me to kind of experience the places that I stay as opposed to rushing in, rushing out, passing through, not really taking anything in, so. Today was really nice, and this bulgogi is so good. Forever in Tucson, Arizona, stop by the uh, Kempo Market on 5595 East 5th Street. That's the address. It's like this small Asian market, and they've got some fire pre-made bulgogi. Make sure if you go, you tell them Ryan sent you. They'll probably be confused. Woo, this is good. It is starting to get pretty dark out there, though. I'm gonna have to close up shop here pretty soon. That was so good. Very glad I decided to make that, but it is starting to get dark out and spooky. So I think I'm going to close up shop for now, put the bike back in the back, clean up the mess from dinner, and then just hang out in the van. So I will leave you guys with a nighttime montage and I will catch you in the morning. It did get pretty cold last night, but uh, honestly it wasn't too bad. I didn't even have to turn on my heater, but looks like it is a beautiful day outside today. And people got here early this morning to go shoot guns down there. I've been hearing them for the last like two hours. Which I guess makes sense because uh, it is Friday, so more people would be out. It's also supposed to be like 25 degrees warmer today. And I know the warm weather always gets people to come out. It is beautiful out today. Not a cloud in the sky, warm temperatures, feeling good. So I also do want to say, and I meant to mention this yesterday, but you guys are absolutely the best community of followers 
that I think anybody has on YouTube. Because in my last video, I had asked for people to give me suggestions on places to go, things to see, and weird quirky locations to check out on my road trip up to Alaska. And I no joke had hundreds of people reach out in my Instagram DMs and my email. Some people reached out through in my Discord and, and so many other different ways. And I read almost every single one of them. I didn't get to reply to all of them because there were just so many, I just couldn't reply to all of them. But some people wrote full, full paragraphs describing the locations, all the cool things to see. And I have a little breakdown of all of the notes that you guys sent me in my notes list on my iPhone. So I have it by state and by location, where I wanna go, things I wanna check out based on your guys' suggestions. So if I ever go and visit a location that one of you guys suggested, I'll give you guys a shout out. But honestly, I cannot express my gratitude enough for the amount of support that you guys give me, obviously I would be nowhere and I would be nothing without you guys. So I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. And I'm very excited to see where this channel takes me over the next couple years. But yeah, I meant to mention that yesterday, but I just completely forgot, so figured I'd mention it today. But for breakfast today, we're having, uh, we're having some steel cut oats again, and also some more raspberries. So I think I'm probably going to head out of this space today and head up towards Sedona, Arizona. Check out up there, but I think before I do that, I'm actually gonna head back down into Phoenix, get myself a shower to plan a fitness and get a workout in because I haven't done that in like two or three days. But I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this video. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video or maybe you've been watching for a while and just haven't realized that you didn't subscribe already, please think about subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And I'll leave you guys with one more view of the uh, spectacular mountains in front of me now that they're not obscured by clouds. And I will catch you guys next time.